<laughs> What's up, Zach? What we got, man? d come on, talk to me, man. Um, Coach, could you please discuss the efficiency on offense and the uh, ability to get a pass rush in the game today? Yeah, man, that was absolutely outstanding. We talked about going out and, and what it looks like to be the best version of ourselves on offense. We still haven't seen it, right? We still had a couple setbacks there, whether it's been the hold-in, whether you agree or disagree, really doesn't matter, or whether it's been penalties that's kind of set us back to not allow us to be ver as good as we possibly can be. So we're still searching for that greatness, right? The imperfect game where you're constantly searching for perfection, as a good friend of mine would say. And then on the rush, the pass rush, man, that, that was absolutely outstanding to see come to life, right? To see... Your, your practice preparation and your practice performance become game reality like it did for the day for the pass rush is something that you like to see. The ability to go out there and be able to use different guys, different players, to be able to keep those guys fresh. Got to give a lot of credit to our coaching staff. Got to give a lot of credit to Jimmy Lake and being able to be efficient, to be able to call those things and get those guys out there in a mandatory fashion. And our special teams just keep showing up every single week making plays. Uh, any update on Drake London and Grady Jarrett's injuries? You know, I was kind of focused on the game, but, you know, obviously Drake was out. And then obviously at some point um, – Grady got ruled out. Um, look forward to getting those guys rested and recovered and getting those guys back as soon as possible, um, whatever that is. But I'm very proud of the guys that were able to step up and fill roles in those shoes, whether it was Contavia Street or we had the ability to get Red out there and get to go out there for Drake. And whoever else has been asked to step up on his team has done an outstanding job. Uh, Coach, you guys were – you held them to 3 of 13 on third down and 1 of 5 on fourth down. One of those was a big stop by Caden Ellis uh, in the second quarter. Led to a touchdown. How big was that? Huge, man. Just gave him a game ball. Um, 13 tackles, I believe, the sack on the day. Didn't even mention the, the big fourth down stop. Um, all of those things, you know, just team ball, be able to get the ball back there with the short field and go down and score. Um, all of those guys playing together, playing for each other, are really important in this game of football that we all love. And it's always nice when you get a chance to go out there and get a win doing that. Josh. Hey, Ray, how you doing? I'm doing well. Good. I, I um, imagine that you expected Kirk Cousins to play well, but I'm wondering the way he is playing, where does it fall on the scale of kind of what you thought you were getting when he got here? Are we talking about today or just in general? Of late. You know, I just, I mean, Kirk Cousins, as um, to still in the green, is exactly what I thought he was, right? He's poised, he's able to get the ball around, he's spread around. He can do all the things that we described when we first met uh, going way back to the combine, you know, talking about what we were looking for, we had to go get. Um, I wasn't taking shots at anybody when we said it the first time. I know we took it that way, but realistically, it's having the ability to get a quarterback in here and absolutely deal to all of the guys that we have, all the different talent that we have, whether it's Drake, whether it's Kyle Pitts, whether it's Mooney, whether it's Bijan. Um, he's just a playmaker. You know, last week he showed us he can run uh, a little bit better than we thought, particularly at the beginning of the season. And he's been able to go out there each week and get better and better. And I am so, you know, proud of him. And more importantly, I'm more proud of his, his leadership that he's been able to show throughout the whole process, whether it's been in his quarterback room or spread throughout the team. I think it's just been awesome. How does the way he's, play, he's playing right now affect the way you game plan? By that, I mean, you might have thought that y'all would run the ball a lot against Dallas today. And it looked like maybe you tried and then Kirk's hot again. And so we're just going to roll with that. You know, it's realistically for us is go out there and do what they're giving us. You know, like they probably thought the same thing. They got to go buckle down in the run. They had a couple of good big time play side internals. 13 made a bunch of plays in the backfield running through. But that opens up things for us on the back end. When you open up things for us on the back end, it can get ugly for you. And then I, I love the way Kurt's able to see the whole process, go through it and be able to get the ball where it needs to get it to. And, and some of those times, um, those timely fourth downs, a lot of that uh, aggressive play call mentality is because of the guy you have. Um, the people that's doing it, the execution that you know is going to get done. Zach Robinson, another great game for him and, and all those guys. And, and, you know, his coach, TJ and DJ, and what they're able to do to keep me poised, keep us in the mindset of what we want to do and how aggressive we want to be. Coach, here. There you go. <laughs> Donald Stokes with the Atlanta Voice. How big was it to have the first and third quarters and have the defense hold Dallas to three points? I mean, in a close game like that, to have the three points, six points in two quarters, that seems like a big deal. You know, defensive life is just, you're going to be angry regardless, right? So I'm going to go in there and talk to Jimmy Lake. He's going to be mad about the last touchdown that we give up. But, like, when you go out there and you're able to get stops and you hold guys, particularly when it's coming out of halftime or you're talking about when the ball gets flipped to those guys, you're able to stop those guys holding the three to kick the long field goal, I believe. Those are always awesome. And I am so proud with the growth mindset of our whole team, right? We watched it happen to our offense, and then we became this hot offense that everybody wanted to talk about. And now we're going to watch it happen with our defense because of the trust and the belief that I have and the guys doing it and the guys coaching it and the guys leading it. And I, I just think that we got the sky's the limit and we got to go out there and keep getting better and better every single week. Hey, Coach, uh, Mackenzie Collins from WTVM in Columbus. Um, I know this was a great, uh, great team win, but personally for you, this is your first win over Dallas in 2019. So what's just any emotions you have? Is that for true? That? 
The first win since what? 2019. If that's that's, that's wrong, then I'll hang I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's awesome. Forget I Jerry that's Jones. What you said no, in your... <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Um, it's always big. Every time you go out and get a win, and I don't like hold grudges or hold anything, you know, personal against anyone. You know, I, I really just like going out and having a team have success and being able to spread the wealth and spread the love amongst our franchise, our organization, our people. Um, my players, our coaches alike, and everybody that helps in, 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 every, in everything that we do. So, like, I really don't look at it that way. But if that's the case, that's awesome. Hey, Raheem, what would you think of the offensive line play, especially with the Ray Ray touchdown? He was maybe the third or fourth option, but it seems like they were just giving him time, more time than usual to throw and stay in the pocket. Zach, I know you've been around the last couple of weeks, man, but it's been kind of going down that way, man, have given Kurt the ability to go through his progressions. And when you have a, a quarterback that has the ability to be able to do that, you got to hold up and the extra tick and be able to strain a little bit longer. And to watch those guys go out and string every single week, the last couple of weeks and whatever it's been, has been amazing. And it's been outstanding. I mean, you know, like the known passing situations, whether it be fourth down, third down, second and long, some of those things, these guys have gone out there and done just a marvelous job all around. You, you guys have been focused since the Seattle game. That, that, that's not like coaching. Is there any, anything particular that you've done to kind of get them more focused the last couple of games? I think the, the mindset when, you, when you're talking about focus is just to, to be absolutely clear and obsessed with your process. And I think the guys, when you're able to point the things that you do wrong out to the guys and be, be really clear and transparent in your messaging uh, when we're talking about everything that we do and our what it takes meeting, I think those are the things that the guys give them something to focus on to be able to go out and make sure we have the right mindset. And then it's also nice to throw some subtle reminders up there what it looks like when you don't have that focus and that mindset you need in order to go out there and win these home games that you want to go out there and win, particularly when people are coming in, whether they had a loss or they're coming off a losing streak. And I was able to use that example this week um, to the utmost and the highest level with those guys, giving them a nice friendly reminder on what it looked like when we don't approach the game the right way. Coach, we talked about pass rush a lot. What was different uh, this week? It seemed like D'Angelo Malone was getting more reps than he has been. More people, different people. Um, Catavia Street got back up on the board. Uh, we were able to get D'Angelo back out there. We were able to get AK some more reps. We were able to get people out there in more significant roles in the times that we wanted to be able to get them out there. We also played a team that was doing some hurry-up offense and needed to pass the ball a little bit more than, uh, than, than you normally would. Um, with, with us having the ability to go out there and get a little bit of lead from the offensive standpoint, with us being able to run the football, that shortened the game, that gave us a little time to possess and edge until it wasn't, but that made us get some more opportunities to rush the passer, and we're able to see the things and the, uh, the fruits of that today. It's been a while since the Falcons have been six and three. Just your thoughts on, on that, and I know there's more football left to play, but just general thoughts. I know he wants more than six wins, and I know it's my job to go out there and get it. So, like, uh, this organization deserves more, um, and this team deserves more. Um, these coaches deserve more, and, and we are hungry, man. We just want to go out there and keep getting them. Rafael Haynes with a three-point conversion. B. John had um, played up. Big part in the game, but he had a block on that Mooney touchdown that um, locked the linebacker who was blitzing. Is that the type of example as far as to what you see in the um, team as far as of late, as far as winning and just playing that type of team ball? He does everything. You know, like I, I can't say enough positive things about Bijan. You know, like running the football, uh, blocking on protection, um, catching the ball out the backfield, scoring touchdowns cheering for his guys, being locked and loaded, being our positive leader, our inspiration behind everything we do, what he does in our community. I mean, he is the definition on what is a Falcon. And when we put that slide up, Terry and I, and we talk about going to look for these people and our process of bringing them in here, you can just put a picture up of Bijan and say, that is it at the highest level. Now, where will we work from there? Overall, would you say this is the most complete game the team has played so far this season? Uh Hard to say right now before I watch the tape, um, but when you talk about some of the complimentary things that happened, that was pretty positive. I can say that was a really good feeling and a good look. Um, there's been some really well done, complete games orchestrated by these guys on the comeback and execution of a slider with a timeout, kicking a long field goal to put you in overtime, going out there on offense and executing, being a run right down the field and score, not letting them go back out there, while at the same time causing some big time turnovers in that Tampa game. That's It's hard to, to put this game over there until I go back and actually watch it and get a chance to sit down and look at it. If that makes sense. Anything else? All right, thanks, everyone. All right, guys.